What is Sophia's plan now that the Penguin has manipulated her? What would you think if I told you that this episode revealed a possible hidden villain? The second episode of The Penguin showed us how Oswald manipulated the Falcone and Moroni families, blaming someone else for Alberto's death. The chaos caused by The Penguin has led Sophia Falcone to put her own family in the spotlight. But why is Sophia so feared? What did she do in the past and what is her new plan for revenge? In this video, we'll be talking about Sophia Falcone, one of the most complex and interesting villains in The Penguin and DC Comics. Plus, we'll see how she might be connected to the Scarecrow and Arkham Asylum. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before we start with this video, and to celebrate the arrival of the Penguin series, we will be giving away a Funko Pop from the Batman movie. To participate, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and leave a comment telling us who is your favorite character from the DC Universe and why. The winner will be announced on October 31st. To understand how it is that Sophia will destroy the legacy of those she believes to be traitors in her family and how it connects to other villains in this universe, we must start at the beginning. According to the story, when Sophia was younger, she had a dual identity. Although she was raised as a mafia princess, in the occult, Sophia was a serial killer known as the Hangman, who took the lives of several people. It is believed that Sophia was so violent and unstable that her father's own men, Carmine Falcone, feared her. After it is discovered that Sophia is a serial killer, she was sent to Arkham, a mental asylum for criminals who are dangerous but have a mental condition a place that is often used as an excuse to prevent criminals from reaching other types of prisons and is often just as corrupt as the rest of Gotham. The problem with Arkham, as we have seen in multiple movies and comics, is that this place is not only a hospital to treat criminals with mental problems, but often becomes an experimentation center. Patients there not only receive treatment, but are manipulated and, in many cases, used as guinea pigs for psychological and chemical experiments. A clear example of this is Suicide Squad, where we saw how the Joker transformed Harley Quinn through mental processes and extreme manipulation. All while she was interned at Arkham. In the Penguin series, we can see Sophia Falcone having constant nightmares related to Arkham. These nightmares could be more than just dreams. They could be evidence that at some point, Sophia was subjected to experiments or even brainwashed inside this place. This would open up the possibility that Arkham is still operating in a corrupt manner, where the most dangerous villains such as the Joker and the Riddler have also left their mark. A key clue to this is found in Sophia's nightmares, where women's laughter is heard, which could indicate that Harley Quinn, another victim of the experiments at Arkham, is still present there or has some connection to Sophia's traumas. Now so far, Sophia has acted cautiously and has not taken an offensive stance against her family. It is possible that at this moment, Sophia feels she must avenge her brother and take control of her family. The Penguin has perfectly manipulated Sophia to turn her against her family, so he can rise to the top of the mob in Gotham. However, I think there is something else going on in this story. I don't think the plot is about how the Penguin is going to team up with Sophia to take down the mob. The fact that Sophia has been a serial killer will be an important element in the upcoming episodes, and we will begin to see how her actions quickly diverge from the Penguin's goals, leading him to question whether he should stop her. I believe that Sophia will start acting like a serial killer in the upcoming episodes, and will seek revenge on all the people she holds responsible for her misfortunes including Gotham itself. And this is where the theory in this video comes in and leads us to the initial question. What is Sophia's real plan? I think the surprise element in this story will be that new drug shipment coming into the city. In the trailer for the third episode, a major scene is revealed in which we see part of a shipment. And it clearly reads the words, Arkham State Hospital, 
the infamous Arkham Asylum. This small detail goes beyond a simple reference. It is a key piece that points to a direct connection between the hospital, known for housing dangerous criminals like the Joker and the Riddler, and the mysterious compound that is coming to Gotham. It doesn't appear to be a coincidence, but rather part of a larger plan involving Arkham in the events that are beginning to unfold. The fact that Arkham's name is present on the shipment indicates that the hospital plays a pivotal role in what's going on. Arkham has always been a place of dark secrets, and now we see how those secrets could well be being unleashed onto the streets of Gotham through this new compound. I don't think this is a coincidence. I believe the compound that is coming to Gotham will be a poison of sorts, designed to affect the minds of its inhabitants, altering their perception and leading them into chaos. This kind of compound is not something that would appear without a specific purpose, which leads us to think that there could be a villain behind it all, someone with a deep knowledge of the human mind and how to manipulate it. This is where Jonathan Crane, better known as the Scarecrow, comes into the equation. Jonathan Crane, a former psychiatrist specializing in the study of fear, is one of the most terrifying villains in the Batman universe. His obsession with phobias and his desire to control them led him to develop his iconic fear gas, a toxin that causes terrifying hallucinations in his victims. In several Batman movies and comics, we have seen him use this gas to unleash chaos in Gotham, manipulating people through their worst nightmares. In this story, Crane could be operating in the shadows, using Sophia Falcone as a tool to introduce his poison into the city. Perhaps what Sophia wishes to bring to the city is the first version of the fear gas we saw in other Batman installments. Now, we know that in Matt Reeves' universe, it is told that the next movie will focus on the Joker and his second confrontation with Batman. So the Joker could also be a surprise villain in this story. Although seeing all these connections to Arkham Asylum, the odds of the Scarecrow or psychiatrist Jonathan Crane being involved are now also on the table. I believe that in the upcoming episodes, we will learn more details about Arkham Asylum through Sophia's nightmares. It's possible that these visions will not only reveal to us the hidden horrors of that place, but also key clues about the real villain behind the story. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the season we see Arkham in all its darkness, perhaps with the return of a key character, or the revelation of the true antagonist who might be hiding in this sinister hospital. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think Sophia's plan will be for her to start acting like a serial killer? Do you think the villain behind the story is the Scarecrow as has happened in other Batman movies? Or do you think this will connect to the Joker? Share your opinion in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on. The Oasis Geek.